a Carnegie Institution for Science audio press release for August 4, 2011. Potential new eye tumor treatment discovered. Carnegie's Karina Conkright, Maggie Sunbay, and David McPherson are among a team of scientists whose research demonstrates that a specific small segment of RNA could play a key role in the growth of a type of malignant eye tumor called retinoblastoma. The tumor is associated with mutations of a protein called RB, or retinoblastoma protein. Dysfunctional RB is also involved with other types of cancers, including lung, brain, breast, and bone. The research focused on a cluster of microRNAs called MIR1792. MicroRNAs are short, single strands of genetic material that bind to longer strands of messenger RNA. Messenger RNA is the courier that brings the genetic code from the DNA in the nucleus to the cell's ribosome, where it is translated into protein. This binding activity allows microRNAs to silence the select genes in a targeted manner. Abnormal versions of microRNAs have been implicated in the growth of several types of cancer. First, the team demonstrated that MIR1792 is expressed in higher than usual quantities in all human retinoblastomas examined, and in some mouse retinoblastomas. The authors then engineered mice to express high levels of MIR1792 in their retinas. When coupled with inactivation of retinoblastoma protein, expression of MIR1792 led to extremely rapid and aggressive retinoblastoma. Then they showed that this abundance of MIR1792 acts to suppress an inhibitor of proliferation called P21-CIP1, which is supposed to compensate for the loss of retinoblastoma protein. These findings show that MIR1792 overcomes the cell's attempts to compensate for the loss of retinoblastoma protein and could be similar in other types of cancers. The microRNA cluster could represent a new therapeutic target for treating tumors caused by retinoblastoma protein deficiency. The Carnegie Institution has had over 100 years of extraordinary discoveries. To continue this tradition, Carnegie scientists need your support. For more information about this and other cool science, visit our website at carnegiescience.edu. This is John Strom.